We're back, uh, this is Arrow. Um, we're gonna try to get a little session in here this morning before it warms up. Um, we filmed, I've had her for a little over a week and a half now, and we Ben just, I think started filming yesterday, didn't you? That was the first time he filmed with her. I've been doing some things with her for about four or five days. We really just got used to each other. Um, I put her on a, I, was, I had her on a lead most of the time, had her on just like a little slip lead. Um, I switched this morning to the adjustable leader, collar and leash. And the reason is, is um, as we've been feeding her, she's gotten a lot better at steadiness and I've set her up to almost line her out for a retrieve um, is how it, what it'll, uh, it'll end up being. But now I started out um, lining her up for, for feeding. And so one of the things that I've, I've worked on with her is, um, the, the objective is to get her steady, not breaking. So when I line her out, for something she needs to understand there's something good that's gonna be there so we've been doing it with food I like this because I can take this and when I send her I can drop it and she can run without it I need her to get used to it though um, it's just this little it's this transitional period um, it's also something that we're gonna use this this setup is what we're gonna use to get her off lead from a healing standpoint right now she's nowhere near that um, she's starting to come around a little bit to responding to little taps to the to the collar but I use I like to use these slips um, we'll talk about the slips in a minute but um, I don't want to run too long with her 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 attention span is short she's doing a really nice job of staying focused here this morning yesterday she was much more distracted we were on the grass to start out and it's real hard on her there's too many things that can um, get in the way um, of, for, from a distraction standpoint where it be smells and she likes to chew on the grass and it's less tempting on the driveway. I got my training bag on today because we're going to introduce some, a little bit of uh, distractions and denials. So we're going to build off of what we did yesterday. Now you notice I always lay that lead down away from her. That's to make sure she doesn't. This is a sticky point. When you reach down, be quick about it. Pick it up. It's a st When I reach down, if I leave this lead balled up next to her, it's real easy for her to get a hold of it and chew on it. It's also very tempting for her when I come back to reach down next to her. She thinks I'm going in there to pet her or she wants to play a little bit. So then I can get a, I can get a hold of it and I can come back in. Now that was really nice. Good. And I'll let her know that. Good. Don't need to get her too excited. She can, she can get excited easily, so no reason to overstimulate her and lose the focus with her. So, I, I, arrow. We're always gonna start out with her name. Arrow, heel. And when she get, when she gives me that physical. She understand that I understand she heard me then I can go with the command if she doesn't respond it could be just a twitch of an ear it could be her looking at me now you notice when her nose goes down it's a quick quick correction crisp that's why I'm using this slip come on come on good give her a chance she lagged behind just a little bit so I bumped her good good heel work is where everything starts good sit good very nice. I can't have dogs dragging. I can't have dogs lagging behind. It's got, eventually, I was talking about transitioning to off lead. Eventually, I don't want to have to have a lead on them at all. <clears throat> no collars, no nothing. They're just in position. And her heel position needs to be about from her back of her ears to her front shoulder in line with my knee. That's perfect for me. Enough so that she can see what's going on ahead. She's not hanging behind, but she's not more than that in front of me because I feel like it's a real slippery slope when temptation comes in for her to be a half a step and she's beyond me and I'm I'm not able to, to, to have that control that I need. Arrow, heel. So we always start out with her name. We always start out with the left leg. You gotta pick a side. I'm a left left side healer because I'm right handed. And so I'm gonna be carrying a shotgun like this. I want that barrel up and over her. I want the gun over here when I'm shooting off side of her. So she's always, my dogs are always gonna heal on the left hand side. I think it's a preference. You can pick whichever one you want, just stick with it. Come on. But whatever side you start with, start with the leg closest to them. It's, it's physically right next to them. It's a cue for them to start. 
So normally I want her to sit, but I'm not, uh, that's okay that she didn't. Eventually we're gonna build her into stopping and sitting, stopping and sitting, stopping and sitting. Then we'll start to incorporate this whistle with it as well. Good, arrow, heel. A little tap, get her moving, good. Good. You know, I don't mind her sticking like that where I gotta bump her off to get her moving because the next thing, and we started working on it already and it's, you can see it's kind of a hangover of some of our last training is sit, good, is this remote sit. So this is something that we've been working on just a couple days now. At first, I wouldn't set the lead down. I didn't have enough confidence in her. This is the sticky part when you get behind them. I don't want her, if she gets up and scoots, that's okay. But you'll notice how I speed up those last couple steps. Now, I don't mind that. I do mind it if it turns into chewing on stuff. Ah, ah, ah. So I don't mind a dog laying down and telling me they're gonna be here for a while, get comfortable. Nope, nope, that's her quitting. Nope, come on, we talked about that yesterday. She's got this little trick she does, lays over on her back and people will pet her belly. She's done, nope, we're not gonna allow that. Arrow, heel, good, good. 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 Sit, good, good. I want to get around her. It's just a remote sit. We're just putting her on an island. Steadiness. Good. Ah, ah, ah. At that point is when she likes to. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. Arrow. Heel. Good. Good. Get her up before I reach down. I healed her off of it because I didn't want to reach down. That lead wasn't in a good spot for me to get it. So I heal her with me so that she doesn't break, move without me wanting her to. I want her always doing it on mine, on my command. Come on, good. Important thing too is this loose lead. Come on, come on. She's lagging behind, so I'm gonna speed up. Good. Come on, good, good. I don't want this thing tight. I want it loose so that when I have the opportunity, for her to learn something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, she can. This stopper is zero pressure. When that's like that, there's zero pressure. So that's what I want. I want it that way so that when I have a chance, if she's doing something that I need to correct, I can put the pressure on real quick, real sharp, and then release it and have it go back to zero. It's gotta be on and off, really crisp. This adjustable leader is a tool that we use. Um, it's just, it, it's designed to help me get through this part to off lead um, and, and everything in between. This, we, we have like a 20 minute healing video that we, all we talk about is heel work with. And we cover all these things, this loose lead. I want this thing loose. I need to, when there's pressure, it needs to be on, then off. And she's looking at me go, why, why that? Good. But that's, that's what has to happen. So I want it at a zero. I don't want her dragging it. I don't want there to be pressure on it at all. Arrow, arrow, heel. Good, come on. Now, a little denial again. There's the correction. Timing's gotta be sharp. Good. Now when I do pick this up, be quick about it, get it out of your hands. That's why I got the bag on. You can see little bugs bother her a little bit, so we're gonna, we don't wanna drag this out too long. We get in, we get the lead, we get back into position. Good, good. And give her a little bit of love, good. Arrow, heel. Good dog. Sharp little dog. Heel. Come on. Don't let that head go down. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. So 
her pace, her and I need to connect a little bit better with our pace. And part of that, that, most of that's my fault. When she lagged behind, I should be speeding up. When she gets out in front, I either turn and go the opposite direction or I'm slowing down. And at that point, she's gonna feel it. She's gonna feel this slight tension on her, on her neck. It's a little pop, pop, pop. This doesn't hurt her. This gets her attention. And so what I need to do is I need to be very crisp and understand the level, the amount of pressure. I don't want to put, I don't need to put a lot of pressure on this dog. She's soft. Most dogs are. Most people, a lot of people think their dogs aren't soft and they really are. It's just, they get so used to naggy tension. They get used to this. So in order to get a change, you have to go that much harder. My dogs, I want it to be either zero no pressure at all, or 10, and 10 gets the change. 10 varies. 10 might be this, it might be this. It might be stronger. It just depends, and, it, and you, can't have, you can't have this mentality of where 10 is all the time, because it's gonna change constantly. It's enough to change the behavior. So the behavior, this, that could be a 10. Just that, that's enough. Arrow, heel. Good, that was a 10. Got a change out of her. Good. Come on, come on, come on. She slows down, I speed up. Perfect position. Turn, she she hangs up, I go. Come on, come on, come on. So I'm gonna show you that one more time and then we're gonna be done because this session's way long enough for this puppy. Turn, she hangs up, good dog. And she didn't need the correction because she, she came with. Very good. Turn, hangs up, pop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Very good. And there's a nice little pickup in her pace. Sit. Very good. Don't overpraise her. Don't get too excited about stuff because she boils over. That's it. That's a session. I mean, that's probably over five minutes. Um, but we would build on that. Do that again, build on that, do that again. And then I think the most important part is, is five minutes a day, three minutes a day, seven minutes a day, whatever you're getting out of them, I think the most important part is what do you do in between those lessons? We don't just let her free run. Um, we'll start using this lead because I want her to get used to it. Um, that one that I was using, I had a red one on her and I had a blue one on her. It's just a little British style slip lead. That I've had on her since she came here. Um, I don't, I rare, I would say the majority of the time she's been on lead, uh, maybe 50, 50 split, um, of where she was able to kind of go on her own. And that's because she always came back. She always recalled for me. I haven't had an issue with that. Haven't had an issue with her blowing me off and running off. As soon as that would happen, she's getting to that age where they've developed this confidence and they realize over there is cooler than coming back when you want me. Um, the fix to that is eliminate the chance for them to fail. Put the lead on them. It's a little more work, but you got to get through that phase so that they realize, because they'll come back, they'll come back to that idea of solid recall because we're going to work on it. Uh, we're going to work on it with reverse heel, and we started doing that yesterday too, uh, a couple days ago, I guess. But we'll work through that. I haven't had an issue with it yet, but we're preparing for it because i got a feeling it's coming. Um, and then the idea of get, when they can recall back, then I'll let her off again without an issue. But don't get into those trouble points and then let her do it because you're just gonna continually form the wrong habit. And I don't want that. So uh, it's not a bad thing to put her on the lead. It's a safety thing. And she doesn't mind it. But we got to keep the, the, the distraction part. You know, that's she's just got a short attention span is all. So we'll put her back up. She's gonna. She hasn't been. Eat, she hasn't ate yet today. So we're gonna feed her and put her back up, and then we go about our day. So nice little lesson this morning. Um, we'll build off of it during the day, and then we'll build on it with more lessons later in, later tonight, uh, probably this evening, and the the, the, the process kind of just continues. Arrow, arrow. Ah, ah, ah. Arrow, heel, good.